If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Paulo Futra to check out. Believe it or not, this is actually the first time that I'm using this card this year. I may have had him on an account when I was reviewing somebody else, but I honestly don't remember, right? So I don't actually know what this card is like in game, right? So uh, this is obviously his new version that could improve in the future. So obviously what we're going to be looking at is base mechanics of the card with those future improvements, right? So with Paulo Futra, guys, we're taking a look at somebody who has five-star skills, but has a three-star weak foot, which is a little bit of a letdown, to be honest, right? He's five foot nine, high low work rates, average and normal body type on the card. Um, with his in-game attributes, right, it's interesting because he's kind of formatted for a dead eye as of right now, right? And uh, probably could be in the future too, because it looks like the type of card that requires the base card stats to be improved while you provide him with the dead eye because look at where his dribbling is at look at where his pace is at um as well as his passing and stuff right it's just formatted for that so i think that no matter what you do in the future it's always going to be like that right so with this card uh we are going to be working with 97 acceleration 94 for sprint speed uh defensive stats he doesn't really have much and then for physical capabilities um he does have at least an 82 for stamina so it looks like an interesting card. The playstyle plus that he has is a rapid plus and an incisive pass uh, with Tiki Taka, Technical, Flare, First Touch, Trickster, and a Quick Step. So he does have a few really nice playstyles for the attack, right? A lot of very, very nice stuff. So uh, definitely should be an interesting one. Uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be trying him out in the main attacking positions up top. We will see how he plays. Hopefully he is a beast. Let's go, nice goal. Ah, too much, too much, too much. Nice goal. Let's go, guys. Good stuff. Nice. Took the extra touches just to kind of guarantee the goal there. She is the first to it. Touch it. There you go. Ah, I messed that up there. Nice. That works. That works. That works. Good stuff. Beautiful. Oh, good attacking play there. Oh, it's a penalty. It's because I went for an Elastico, eh? So whatever animation I did with the Elastico is what gave me the penalty there. It's funny how that works, eh? Oh! What? Oh, dude, that, that's the first time it's ever happened to me. Like, is this penalty bad or something? <laughs> like, what? Oh, we'll score that one. We will score that one.
Ah. I tried, man. I tried. A for effort for my boy Paulo. Oh, I'm gonna score the side for the shot. Oh, we win that. Oh, good challenge. Unlucky. Ah, it would have been nice. But he's offside. Nice. Good attacking play there. Good reach. Ah. That's the thing, man. Like, these cars are so expensive, but when they don't have, like, the weak foot and stuff, like, they miss simple opportunities, you know? That's why it's, like, at this point, you just gotta make them a five-star, four-star, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't quite have the pace yet, but when he does, it'll definitely be helpful. Good finish, Futre. Palo Futre. I'll take that. Run, my boy, run. I messed up. I was trying to do the um, the sided one where it's not like a direct, you know. I worked out. Good stuff, guys. Oh, dude. Shoot the ball, mate. Bro, he just cooked right there, man. My boy Paolo just cooked. Almost, never know. He may have already moved his goalkeeper in advance there. Yeah, he, he needs more pace. Like, the upgrade will give it to him. Like, that, that'll that be a big one for sure. Because the lack of pace is noticeable in a lot of, like, key. Like, that, if I have a player that's, like, really fast, it's GG's. I'll take it. Gotta work with some jam in this game. the emphasis for what man
Aw, oh, it does the animation to shoot, that's why you can't get to the ball right away. I don't know how that worked out, but it did. We'll take it. Go, Paulo Futra. The goal. This guy's way of defending, I'm not even kidding, is literally just slide tackling. Nice pass, good finish. There it is. There it is, park that, my G. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That's like, it's too obvious. They're going to overcommit like crazy there. Ah, couldn't control it properly there. Unlucky. That works, even though it's emphasized like crazy right now. Yeah. Take it. It's so it's the game is a complete garbage to play right now. So it's already moved into the morning console gameplay. So nice. So that I actually had to um, force the movement there with him with the L1 flick. I did like something like this, right? And then he's gonna do that. Try to shield the ball right after, but I couldn't get it in time. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Paolo Futra card. So, guys, uh, with this card in game, it's a card that is going to get two different upgrades if certain things happen. So um, this card is based off of what? Domestic uh, the F Fantasy FC Hero items are with two upgrades. Oh, okay. So it's for Atletico Madrid. Uh, Atletico Madrid, February 23rd. Starting from February 23rd. Atletico. Atletico Madrid. Okay, so starting February 23rd is over here. Where is it at? Where is it at? So I'm confused how this works. So did he not get an upgrade then? Because club wins two games in the next four games. So, Almeria, Saturday, February 24th, they tied. Four domestic league matches. Oh, it's four domestic league matches. So, he's already at an L right away. Club scores 11 goals in the next four games. Well, they did technically score two already, so it's not too bad. I'm assuming this one is part of it. It's domestic league, right? Club scores 11 for the next four games. Club wins two games in the next four. I mean, I could see them at least winning two games. I can see them winning two games. Whether or not they'll score 11 goals in the next four games is another situation. Uh, generally speaking, with how this card performs in-game, um, again, with the Fantasy FC heroes and most of the cards, they are cards that require the upgrades to be really nice in the middle of the game. Uh, with Paulo Futra, definitely needs a pace upgrade. I would say both of them as much as possible because the card is formatted for a dead eye, right? If you take a look at the card in-game, um, on the Deadeye Chemistry Style. This is how he's formatted, right? So Deadeye Chemistry Style boosts the shooting and the passing of the card, right? The shooting needs to be improved in, as well with both of the upgrades to match the current meta of the game, right? So the shooting will be improved, the passing will be improved, and then the dribbling needs to be improved too because you definitely feel that emphasis on the card sometimes when it comes to his left stick dribbling so having that to be improved as much as possible is definitely going to be very ideal um i will say that generally speaking the three star weak foot is an l um i think that especially at the price that he is at 
they should have made him a four-star weak foot at this point in the game, right? I don't really understand why they kept him at a three-star um, because when they do make new and improved versions of these cards, you would assume that at some point they would just add that as an upgrade, right? And I feel like he definitely requires that weak foot improvement because it'll just cause inconsistencies in game. Like, obviously, if you give him the dead eye and in the future, if he gets the double upgrade, his shooting will be a little bit better, but the inconsistencies of that weak foot will be a little bit annoying to work with, right? Uh, the high-low work rate's definitely a noticeable work rate to work with uh, when it comes to the way that he attacks in the game. I actually don't mind using him as a striker. It's just that, obviously, he'll be let down by the pace department if he doesn't get those improvements. So that's definitely going to be a really, really big thing. Generally speaking, the card's pretty decent. Um, price range of it is a little bit up there, obviously, for how he performs in-game, but it's still a very nice card. These are the types of cards and reviews that I do, mainly for people that end up packing him and using him in the team, right? Um, I was using him in the 4-3-3 formation, which is a really, really fun, authentic formation to use. And he was able to score some opportunities for me. The key thing with this card is going to be using him in the left-sided areas, right? In the left-sided areas, because he is a left-footed player, the strikes will come off better, right? So because I had him at striker for the review, just for the sake of it, obviously that's where we're going to utilize his weak foot a little bit more. But if he's coming from the actual left wing position, he'll be able to cook for you more because most of the striking animations that he'll do is going to be on his left foot, right? So still a pretty decent card. Definitely enjoyed using him. I'm a little bit disappointed about the three-star weak foot on it, but obviously if he does get the double upgrade, he could still be a very, very nice card to use because we still did a, a lot of work with him. He still scored a lot of opportunities for us. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.